Hey everyone! So, everyone who doesn't know me, which is pretty much everyone, uh, my name is Maggie. Um, I'm just starting out on YouTube workout, so I finally bought myself a new uh, camera. If any of you guys want to know what camera I got, you guys can check down below. Anyway, so I've decided once again to start up a little channel on here. Um, it's going to be kind of half and half, beauty, beauty and fitness. Um, I know I might not look like I'm that much into fitness, but I'm huge into fitness. It is like all of my life right now, 100% all of my life. And I just, I really want to share that with you guys. And I want to share my journey and how this works for me. Um, not this, it's not like I'm on a diet. It's just, I like, I'm really digging the health and fitness scene right now. And I just want to show you guys the journey that I'm on right now. So I want to make that a huge part of this channel. You know, workouts, um, reviews of different products, different plans that I'm tr checking out. Like I want to check out the Tone It Up plan and I want to see a few others and see how that works. Um, I kind of want to just explore the fitness and health. Um, and I kind of just want to bring you guys along on the journey for that. Um, and then my beauty, the beauty part of the channel, it's really just going to be because of my passion of makeup. I love makeup. I've been watching beauty gurus for the past six years now. And it's just a huge love of mine. I'm obsessed with makeup. And I'd really like to show you guys my opinions on that too. Kind of swerve you guys through how to pick out makeup. Sorry if I'm having some issues. It's 27, no, 23 degrees right now in northern Alberta, Canada. And I am so sweating. I am dying. And I can't turn on my fan right now because there's no outlets because this room is ridiculous. So this is life. And this is how it was going to roll. And I'm just going to sweat to death for you guys and see how this works. Anyway, um, I'm going to be just doing the get to know me tag from YouTube. It probably ended like five years ago, but I thought it'd be a nice idea just as like kind of an intro to my channel and for you guys to get to know me a little better before you start taking advice from me or watching me because I'm kind of awkward and I'm kind of weird and you guys will really have to get used to that because it's kind of odd. Anyway, I'm going to be looking down a lot this video. Don't comment and complain about it because that's just life because I don't know all these questions off by hand. So I have them up here on my computer. Anyway, so question number one. How do you pronounce your username? Well, my username's just my name, Maggie Marsh. Um, it's just my name. I had my original username was the Adventure XO, um, but Google changed it over on me when they took over YouTube, which was great. So I'm not going to get into that. Two, how old are you? I am currently 17 years old. Um, just chilling in northern Alberta, Canada. Whew. Um, three, what nationality are you? I'm Frosty the Snowman. I'm white as fuck. And that's just how life is because I'm really white. Currently, I am self tanned and spray tanned and bronzed into this false impression of darkness. And still, I am only the fourth lightest shade. Like, and this is the most dark I have ever been in my life. And I'm still only the fourth lightest shade in Steel of Foundation. So, yeah, that's my life. Um, what grade are you in? I am currently graduating high school. I'm just finishing up my final, last final exams right now and then I'm going to be doing some upgrading. So I'm not really in school anymore. Um, five, do you have a job? Yes, I work part-time at a jewelry store beginning full-time here now and once. Um, sorry if you hear any banging. My sister and her friends are upstairs having to be honest. Uh, I really love it there. We sell a lot of nice jewelry. I work in the mall so I get great mall hours and I just love it. I'm going to be starting full time here now in the once so that's always a good thing. Um, yeah I just love it. I love the people I work with. It's a family owned business. I can never rant enough about my job. Um, number six. What is your eye color? I have kind of, I'm going to get all cl up close and personal for you guys. I have kind of like light blue green eyes. It's just kind of how it is. Um, yeah. Uh, what is your natural hair color? My natural hair color is that. So it's like, <laughs> it's like a shade darker than the blonde I have going on here now. Um, yeah. Fake blonde. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I don't give a fuck. Like I, I'm not 
getting my roots done has not been a huge priority lately because I have had school and work and I normally throughout the school year I do not get one day off. Um, so it's kind of hard to kind of fit in doing shit. Uh, eight. What type of skin do you have? Sorry, I have kind of a cold at the moment. Um, I have very dry, acneic, so problematic skin. Um, it is not fun to deal with. It is not fun to do anything with. It kind of sucks. It's extremely sensitive. It's acneic. It's dry. It's just, it's a hot mess. Year-round hot mess. Um, number eight. Do you have freckles? No. No, I don't. Um, ten. Did you slash do you have braces? Not at all. No. I was not going at that. I was the nerdy little kid with glasses and I, um, when we went to the orthodontist when I was like nine, um, the orthodontist was like, oh, maybe you'll need braces. And I, would, and I cried to my mom for days because I was like, I can't have braces. Like, I'll be that nerdy kid with glasses and braces. Like, I can't do that. Anyway, okay. number 11. What, what's your favorite perfume to wear? Now, that would be definitely 100% for me. Chanel Chance Utandra. As you can see, this bottle's completely empty. Here's another empty bottle. I have three empty bottles of this right now. I've been wearing this perfume, hmm, for like two years. It's amazing. It smells gorgeous and sophisticated and professional, yet fun and young. It's just, it's the perfect scent. It smells like apples, in my opinion. My sister thinks it smells like cat piss. That's, that's personal opinion. Um, number 12. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Depends on what I'm going to, which I'm pretty sure has been every girl's answer for this qu question error so far. That if it's just a regular ass school work day, it usually takes me 20 minutes to do my makeup, 5 minutes to do my hair, 5 minutes to get dressed. So about 30 minutes. If I'm going out on a date, or something not extremely, extremely uh, formal, but something a little bit more hyped up than casual. Usually takes me an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to get ready because then I'm doing 30 minutes on my makeup, 30 to 40 minutes on my makeup, and then I'm curling or straightening my hair. Um, and then I have to get dressed, obviously. If I'm doing something super formal, like my graduation, or if I'm going to a wedding, something that's just really hyped up, um, it usually takes me about two hour, two to three hours to get ready. Shower, I want to get a shower, I want to take a bath, I want to, you know, do all the little things that you don't normally get to do on an everyday basis. Um, how long, uh, no. Number 13. What is your favorite color? It's between pink and navy blue. Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with both. I'd... I just, I love them both so much that I can't really decide. I've never been able to decide, actually. Uh, number 14, heels or flats? I'm definitely a flats girl. I'm five foot seven and a half, so I'm kind of on the taller side. I'm working or at school, like, uh, you guys have no idea how little free time I actually have. Like, this channel is probably not going to go that far until summer break because usually I'm at school five days a week. And then some of those nights I'm rushing off to work after that and I'm working till 9 o'clock. And then on weekends I'm working all day Saturday, all day Sunday. So there is no way in hell I'm walking around with heels on. No. Uh, no. No. It's not happening. I'm not killing my feet to look good. That's not happening. That's not practical. Even though I'm not really practical, like I'm kind of tacky, but like... I'm not killing my feet to look good. That is not something that I'm a fan of. 15. Gold or silver? I'm a huge fan of both. Maybe it's just because I work in a jewelry store, but like I'm ups I find pieces of both that I really like so that I kind of have my silver collection and my gold collection. Um, like I have a really pretty gold and tortoiseshell watch from Michael Kors and I have my silver Pandora bracelet. Like I just have different, different sets to wear for each time and I'm very minimalist with my jewelry so I usually just have like three or four key gold pieces and three or four go-to silver pieces and that's kind of it. I don't really have an excess of jewelry. Um, although I'm working in a jewelry store so I kind of have a little box but like that's kind of all I wear. Um, number 16, do you have a boyfriend? No, not currently. Currently I'm just kind of doing the dating thing um, but who knows, you know. Um, I don't know if my chin's in frame. Is my chin in frame? You guys tell me if my chin is in frame. If not, I will correct that for you guys. Um, meh. Okay. Number 17. Do you have siblings? I have one younger sister whose name is Susan. 
okay, whose name is Susan. Um, she's kind of more eccentric, uh, not that I'm not eccentric, but she's kind of more eccentric, you know, in the heavy metal type scary group. Um, but she's 14, so I'm guessing she'll grow out of that, but she's still a really nice person, so I'll give her that. Number 18, do you have any pets? Of course I have a pet. I have my little baby Gizmo. His name is Gizmo. He's a little shih tzu. I would ask him to come here, but he's asleep and he will kill me. Um, so I'll have to show you guys him in the next video, but he is adorable. He is 13 and he's just this fat little shih tzu and he's adorable. I can't even get over it. Number 19. Have you ever been out of the country? No, I have not been out of the country. I've been stuck in Canada because Canada's awesome. Not that I'm hating on Canada. We have a great criminal code. We have great... Uh, pretty much everything except for our fucking weather it's just it's crazy and ridiculous number 20 what is something that makes you nervous um first dates tests a lot of i get stressed out super super easily like you have no idea like i get so stressed out over the littlest things like if i say something one day at work and like, because I just, I'm a person who really hates confrontation. So if I say something one day at work, like something just really casual, I will be, and if it's on like a Sunday night and I'm not till work again till like Wednesday or Thursday night, I will be thinking that whole time that I'm going to go into work and I'm going to get fired for that one thing that I said. And I just overanalyze and overanalyze and overthink until I'm so, such a bile of stress and nervousness that it's not even bad. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little burst into my life. Um, I'm hoping to get back at you guys within the next couple of days here to get you guys a new video. Hopefully something fitness or beauty related, who knows. Um, I'm thinking I might do a what's in my gym bag next just to kind of start off because I feel like I have a few little tips that you guys might like for the gym because I know not a lot of people don't like the gym, they think it's boring, they think it's too standard, but I have some really nice tips for you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!